Degenerative myelopathy is a gradual and progressive disease that affects the spinal cord of dogs. It mainly targets older large breed dogs like German Shepherds, Boxers, and Pembroke Welsh Corgis. This condition starts slowly and worsens over time. Right now, there's no reliable treatment available. The spinal cord acts like a communication highway between the brain and the rest of the body. When it's damaged, dogs can show signs like weakness and trouble coordinating their movements. Since other diseases can look similar to degenerative myelopathy, a thorough evaluation by a neurologist and additional tests are essential for a correct diagnosis. We now know that degenerative myelopathy is caused by a genetic mutation. Specifically, a change in the SOD1 gene leads to the development of this disease. Normally, dogs have two copies of this gene, and if both copies are affected, the dog is considered to be at risk for developing degenerative myelopathy. Degenerative myelopathy usually appears in certain breeds as dogs get older, typically over eight years of age. The first signs often include an unsteady gait in one or both of the rear legs. Over time, the weakness and lack of coordination get worse. Most dogs show these signs for a few months before actually seeing a veterinary neurologist. During examination, dogs with degenerative myelopathy are usually alert and can still walk, but they'll be weak and incoordinated in their rear legs. You might notice that they drag their toes, cross their legs, or adopt an abnormal stance. Their front legs generally remain normal at this stage. The condition isn't painful, so the dog usually isn't showing any signs of discomfort. Diagnosing degenerative myelopathy starts with a neurological examination. However, there are other conditions that can cause similar symptoms like spinal cord tumors or a slipped disc. The most accurate way to diagnose degenerative myelopathy would be a spinal cord biopsy, but this can't be done safely in a living pet. Instead, a diagnosis typically made by ruling out other conditions such as tumors and slipped discs with an MRI. There's a genetic test that we can perform that can show if the pet is at risk for the disease, but by itself isn't enough to establish a diagnosis. Diagnosing degenerative myelopathy involves several steps. First, looking at the signalment. We check and see if the dog is the right age, the right breed, reviewing the history. So we listen to the owner's observations about the onset and the progression of the symptoms. The next part is the neurological examination. This is done to assess if it's a neurological problem and determine where in the nervous system the problem is. Then we get into tests. So the next part is performing an MRI, and an MRI is going to give us a picture of the spinal cord and tell us is there a different cause such as a tumor or a slipped disc, but usually in dogs with degenerative myelopathy, the MRI is normal or there might be a small slip disc, but one that isn't large enough to explain the signs. Sometimes a spinal fluid analysis is performed. The next part of our testing is genetic testing. So we can perform a genetic test to determine if the pet has two affected copies of the gene, thereby saying that there's potential to develop degenerative myelopathy. Currently, there's no treatment or cure for degenerative myelopathy. Most dogs are going to worsen over time, over the next several months, and will eventually lose the ability to walk in their rear limbs. Some owners choose to euthanize their pets at this point. For those that aren't euthanized, they'll eventually lose control over their bladder and bowels, and can eventually have problems with their front legs and, and difficulty swallowing. While there's no cure, some studies suggest that physical therapy might help slow down the disease's progression. Even if it doesn't stop the disease, therapy can assist with mobility issues caused by other conditions. 
If you notice your dog having trouble with their rear limbs, it's important to see a veterinary neurologist. Rear limb weakness can have a variety of causes, some of which can improve with treatment. Early diagnosis and intervention give your pet the best chance for a better outcome.